Hi Virgo, welcome back to Dream Tarot. All right, so this is a quick reading for you. Um, let's see what the current energy is. We have the King of Cups. It's being clarified by wedding rings. All right, so hmm, let's talk about the clarification, the Oracle card. So we have wedding rings. This talks about union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. So someone really feels like they can do the long call with you. They want to be with you in a serious connection, in a relationship. They want to be together. I feel like someone's finally getting the courage to say this to you with the King of Cups. What's on the bottom of this? All right, so we have love on the bottom of this Oracle deck. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. What's on the bottom of this deck? Oh. <laughs> All right, we have Four of Cups, so reevaluation something about this person coming towards you with such heavy feelings during this time is making you rethink so that makes me think that this person's actions has not been showing their true feelings for you you could have always suspected that this person was in love with you or that they cared about you but their actions definitely didn't show it because you're kind of turned off by this person right now I don't know if that's going to stick or stand for the long run, but I do feel like you've been turned off by this person's actions or energy. They haven't been giving you the energy of love. They haven't been giving you the energy of connection. So you're kind of like, a, like turned off is the best word to say this, but someone's coming towards you with some very heavy emotions. And also based off of this card, I feel like someone is saying this in their right mind, sober with the tea or a coffee being here. Um, someone's not under the influence when they're saying this, so there's nothing prompting this person to say this. I also feel like this person's being very genuine in their feelings, but I don't know. Someone has been very weird with their actions towards you as of lately, so it kind of puts you in a weird spot when you are receiving this message or when this person is, um, you know, declaring their love for you. You're like, I don't know what that means because someone's actions has not been showing it. All right, let's see how you feel about the King of Cups and wedding rings. Clarify Virgo's energy towards the King of Cups and wedding rings here. The sun. Okay, so you're really happy to receive this news, but I also feel like you're thrown off. You don't know what to believe with this person because they've been so weird with their actions. Emperor. Is this a Pisces? Because I feel like Pisces just had the same combination, the sun and the emperor. So this could be a Pisces saying this to you or a Pisces type of energy. If you can look up like the characteristics of Pisces could be this type of energy. Um, but yeah, Emperor's here. So someone's being dead serious with the Emperor. They're being super serious. They're being super like upfront and serious about it. They're also taking responsibility as well. But something is off-putting because of someone's actions. You're happy about this, but you don't know what to think about this. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups, please, for Virgo. Also could be a Leo with the sun, okay? I just wanted to say that because I was looking at the sunflower, which is Leo's flower, so, and sun is Leo as well. All right, so we have the Six of Swords, okay? So that makes a lot of sense because Six of Swords is someone with the right intentions, but the wrong mindset. Like they're not really kicked into their power or their higher energy just as of yet, but they want to be there. So this is the type of person that will, you know, sell you a dream, but lead you down the wrong path. And that's why it's kind of tricky to date this type of person or even be friends with this type of energy or even reconnect with this type of energy because... It's almost like a toddler or a child. Sun card energy is like a baby. This person doesn't 
they're not as like um, experienced in doing right. So they're going to do bad. They're going to lie. They're going to cheat. They're going to try to deceive you. Or it's almost like a child. Like when a child lies, they think like they're getting over on their parents, but their parents already lived that life. So it's like, you can't lie to me. I know you're lying, even if I don't call you out in that moment. That's kind of the energy you have with this person, Virgo. So you knew that someone was lying a lot or that they were doing things that they weren't supposed to be doing. It turned you off because maybe you're in a more mature mindset than this person where you just kind of wanted someone to meet you at that maturity level. This person's still going through it, but they do have the right intentions. So, you know, there's like a coast with this person. Now they're coming towards you. They're being very romantic or they're being very endearing. They're telling you the truth about their feelings, but they still have that six of swords. They still have a lot to learn here. Let's see what else. All right, Page of Wands, but this is good news, though. I feel like this is really good news. Maybe you needed to hear this, too, because you were giving up on someone, but you could have really also had very strong feelings for this person or really care about them. So this is good news. And the sun is with the energy that you have towards it. So you're happy to hear this. You just don't know if you can trust it. But someone is very serious about you. Like, this is their intentions, wedding rings. But can they fulfill that prophecy? It's going to take some time. Someone has to kind of learn to be this person. They have to learn how to be committed. They have to learn how to be in a relationship. They have to learn how to devote themselves to someone and be real or honest or um, think or even the lover's energy, which is like when you're making decisions or choices, not only for yourself, but for your partner. So this person has to like learn how to not live selfishly. All right. But this is good news, you know, and I feel like there's a big change coming with this as well, because someone in the past would not express themselves emotionally and someone's taking the first step to expressing themselves and they're being so real with you. So this is definitely a big change for this person and it's continuing. So I see a lot of positive energy coming from this. Clarify wedding rings. Okay, we have the seven of wands. So this is someone who is non-committal. Um, not because they never want a commitment or they never seen themselves getting married or being in a, a committed, hierophant type of relationship. This is someone who would push away relationships based off of their past. So maybe they were done wrong when they were fully committed to someone. Maybe they grew up in a household where they didn't see committed relationships going on. Someone always pushed this away. So when you came in with that same energy of like wanting commitment, wanting real love, they they liked you and they started to fall in love with you, but they also were scared of commitment with the seven of wands because seven of wands is like protesting, like, um, sorry, yeah, protesting, like someone who's putting up a fight and they're saying no, you know? Um, also, someone could be more confident being single. So when someone is in a relationship, their past relationship gave them a lot of insecurities and like now coming towards something that could be a relationship they kind of associate relationships with insecurities maybe they're more confident being a player or being a hoe whatever that may mean so i feel like someone's perception is changing slowly but surely you're going to see a glimpse of that you're going to start to see the change happening within someone and they're being dead serious they're not playing with you at all but you're so tired of being played with with this person, it's going to be hard for you to really, like, take them seriously. That's what I'm seeing. But this is good news. This is putting you in a happy mood whenever this is coming in. Um, but you're not trusting of it, which you shouldn't be. Seven of Swords. Sorry, not Seven of Swords. Six of Swords is like, be careful. There's troubled waters ahead. So it's not going to be all sweet. This person may do things, say things that may bother you but they do have the intention of being this committed, lovable person. Um, their intentions are there. Their behavior is not, you understand? And also Virgo, you're someone who is um, a earth sign, which is pentacle energy. And I always associate pentacle energy with behavior. So you're able to learn behavior very um, easily. You're able to adapt very easily when it comes to changing your behavior. 
other zodiacs, other elements may not have that same, you know, quickness that you may adopt when it comes to behavior because they're not an earth sign. Okay, so that, keep that in mind as well. So let's go ahead and close this off with some last words for you. All right, I wasn't expecting it to go this far. So you didn't have high expectations for this person, um, but they are going to exceed your expectations soon with this express. They're expressing how much they want to be with you. They're expressing a lot of emotion. You're going to be very pleased. And then let's see what else. Yeah, player energy, exactly. Like I said, someone has been more comfortable or confident being a player, but it's not really what they truly want. We also have plotting against you. So you know how I brought up the Seven of Swords, even though this, sorry, wrong card. You know how I brought up the Seven of Swords, even though this is the Six of Swords? This is Seven of Swords energy, plotting against you. You always felt like this person had ulterior motives. I just feel like this person was like scared, you know, based off of their past. All right, September Virgo or Libra. You could be a September Virgo. You could be dealing with September Libra. September could have been a very significant month. Maybe you met this person in September or something significant happened during that time. Let's see, two more cards here. Trust issues. So you're gonna have um, a hard time trusting this person's intentions with you moving forward, even after they express this moment of love. And they also have trust issues is why they are the way that they are, okay? And one more card for you. Aquarius, okay? So look out for an Aquarius. Aquarius could be the one expressing their love towards you. They're being dead serious though, so there's that. I'm gonna leave it there. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.